Kristo. Ina mayana nakata ta hi ha ino hore ni akata. Apa ta na no yana nakata. This is Yanke Borabaya and I just came before you on Yanke Borabaya. And I just told you and I did it in tears and I said I, I'm weeping before you and I, as Nico reread a prophecy, Heavenly Father, and one word had been spelled wrong, Heavenly Father, and what was the name of the prophecy? Which word is the name of the prophecy you were reading? I think it's, oh Israel, where is your blood sacrifice? Oh Israel, where is your, where is your blood sacrifice? And there was one word that was misspelled, Heavenly Father. From an, it should have been an accept. It should have been an accept. Right, the whole sentence was the whole, taken out of context. It was written wrong, it the was, whole sentence. And it was, it was transcribed by somebody else. They hadn't put the pause there. They misspelled word. And I was just, and instead of saying accept, Accept A C C E P T. They had put an accept E X C E P T. Yeah, C E P T, and it changed it. And I was just weeping before Jan. I was saying, I didn't ask to be a prophet. I want this on record, people. I yes, he tells me I did. But as far as I'm concerned, I was crying out to Yahweh. And I I want people to understand this. I am not puffed up in pride. I continually weep before Yahweh. I'm so afraid of getting one word wrong. And on this Yom Kippur, I was crying, and I still am. Darn it, I hate my enemies to see me like this. But I was saying, I'll be Yahweh, and beloved Yusha Hamashiach, I'm going to stand before your throne, and I'm held accountable for the words that have been spoken forth from this mouth. That I know that is of you, but if one transcribed word is wrong, if... If one word is left out, because you speak so fast when you speak to me, I am praying in holy tongues, and at the same time my brain is hearing what you're saying, but my mouth sometimes has trouble keeping up to be able to put it into English. And there can be one minor word missing, or um, or the, or I can just wait to hear what you're going to say, and I can say, and. And I, I just, this gift is so fragile. This, this, this gift is something I don't understand. And this gift is so unique. I, I, I don't know anyone who's got it. I just want to meet somebody else who's got it in all these years. And it, I was just crying out to you. And I, as Nico read this, and I see, and we heard one word had been mis, mistranscribed. And now all the translators have got to go to the burden to go back to the prophecy of what number? I think it's 63. He thinks it's 63. Anyway, and um, I just want to, I want to say it before the world. I just, uh, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I keep saying, this is a frightening thing to be a prophet. A frightening thing. I know the Bible says that this is the gift that, out of all the, the gifts that are given, it is the one that people should be praying for, but, all I have to say, it's a frightening thing, and I keep on crying out, and I keep on saying, oh, but yeah, I didn't ask for this, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to be a prophet, I didn't ask to be your mouthpiece to nations. This is too frightening, this is... And he keeps telling me the same thing. But oh yes, you did, Elizabeth. You did in heaven. You volunteered for this, and one day I will prove it to you. But right now, in my flesh, I just know this. I am about ready to give a new prophecy. Because the word started coming for us. And when I least expect it, never, ever, 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 somebody said that had written me, my precious brother Caesar had written me, and and he's in Singapore, and, and he said, whatever you do, Elizabeth, he, I just read this on Yom Kippur, I love him dearly, he's a new brother in Yahushua to me, and, he, and he, he's a prophet also, but he's so very, very humble, he don't even want to be called a prophet. And um, he had just said, whatever you do, don't worship the gift. Don't make the gift an idol. This this gift is not an idol. I don't even ask. I, I just, I, they just happen. They just come. The, those that are around me knows the words will just start flowing forth out of my lips. And, and <laughs> it's always when I least expect it. 
and just tonight, I had just finished telling Yahweh. It was, if it would have been three minutes, it would have been a miracle. Because my husband was playing that to see what word was wrong. Bless him. He just, he's he got this anointing. He knows when to go back. He, my husband is is taking over all the site, site managers now. And um, he um, he's good. He just has this anointing, and <laughs> and I love it. I don't know why it took so many years. What year? 2002. 2002, there was a mistranslated word, misspelled word, and it wasn't where the comma and the period should be. But when Yah speaks to me, I'm like a prophet of old. He doesn't, it, most of the time, I don't even pause. I just go from tongues into speaking into the English, and so it's very hard to be able to separate where Yah wants to separate words. So saying all of that, I just want you to know, the, what's ever going to come forth now, I had just begged and pleaded before the throne of Yahweh and said I didn't ask to be a prophet. This is too frightening. Uh, and the truth is, when there's no messages in between, I'm kind of like taking a deep sigh of relief because then nobody can throw more stones at me. We used to say, I used to say, please don't stone the messenger. And um, could believe me, I'm getting a lot of stones thrown at me. They're not stones; they're boulders. And the liar, liars are really lining up. And the slanderers, and those of you who are not defending this ministry and yet know the truth is coming from this ministry, I gotta be held accountable before Yahweh, because you are making the job a lot harder. You should be. Putting an avalanche of emails to these enemies. You should be saying, oh, put up or shut up. Prove your evidence. Because you know what? They have no evidence that I am a false prophet. They even take my uh, uh, name and they say, this is her true name. Stupid people. I was married before and I am divorced and now remarried. I have it in my testimony. How dare you? How dare you take the lies? I'm an evangelist. I've gone from all over the world. And the reason why we travel is we are evangelists. And I have it in my testimony. I was fleeing from a, a homicidal ex-husband who was... I have it all in my testimony. If you are so blind you can't read it, and those of you who believe these lies, you will be held accountable. You will be held accountable. And on this day of Yom Kippur, I feel with everything within me that I am to warn you, every solitary single person who has come to this ministry site all these years and been fed, you go to your organized churches, you go on your on Sunday and you put your little offering in the offering plate, you make sure to tithe but to the place where you get your spiritual meat, to the place that you depend for Yah to speak out of, because it sure isn't in your organized churches the prophets are talking or giving you anything new. You don't give anything. You just think it's free because it's on the Internet. You don't count the cost that it costs us. You don't count the suffering that it costs us. You don't count the persecution. You don't count any of it. You just take it and eat and run. You don't even bother to defend when you see us crucified before everyone. You could care less. Do you know why? Because it doesn't cost you anything. It has cost me everything. It has cost me my health. I'm just being young to poor. In tears, I tell you, Yahushua is returning. But he's not returning for those who sit in their organized churches so smug because they go to church on a Sunday. Um... He's not returning if you are not putting him first in your love in your life. He's not, you're not going to see him. You're not going to see him. He's going to leave you in the great tribulation. You're going to wonder why. Those of you who did nothing to defend me, those of you who absolutely have not lifted a finger to support this ministry, we are in so many languages now. Fourteen languages at least and more coming. But those of you who who have done nothing, not even a word of encouragement, not anything, do you realize that Yahweh will judge you for this? 
Do you realize that even if you make heaven, do you realize that rewards will be taken away from you, that you did do good for him here on this earth? Um, I don't know what Yah is about ready to say. So I just wanted this on record because... Like I said, it's like the more languages we reach, oh, so many souls are coming to you, Yahshua HaMashiach, and oh my, are the liars lining up, the slanders, the servants of Satan, the children of Satan. I can take it from the Satanists. Hey, man, they send their curses and their spells, and they, they do their rituals and their sacrifices, and they send their hate mails, and they and they threaten my life, and all this garbage, their witchcraft, all that garbage. But you know who's the hardest one to take it from? Those who claim they pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who claim they're on their way to heaven those are the ones that's the hardest because they're not even they're not even a Christian they only have a name they have no relationship with Yahushua they have no Christ in them they are not anointed or they would know that any ministry that has been on the internet since 1995 and I am an ordained licensed pastor big deal my true ordination comes from heaven and, um, yeah, he even has a hand laid on, and I'm an apostle. Big deal. In his world's eyes, that doesn't mean anything but to have another person lay hands on you and get ordination. So my ordination is being an apostle and a prophet comes from heaven. And guess what? What's his name? What's his name? What's that guy's name in New Zealand? I always forget that. Andrew Strom. Andrew Strom in your prophet school. You can take your prophet school and you know where you can shove it. You cannot teach anyone to be a prophet. And you cannot charge anybody money to be a prophet. You are a liar. You've been a liar since I met you in 1995 and you put me on that hit list of yours. You are on Yahweh's hit list, Andrew Strom. You say to beware of those who preach that you have to obey the, the, the Ten Commandments and what is it that I all get accused of, honey, and, and who believe the, who are the, um, tell others that if they, don't honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Beware. Run from anybody who preaches the Torah. Run from them. Well, guess what, Andrew Strom? You, you were a Satanist back then and you're a Satanist now. I want this on record in 14 different languages. Andrew Strom is a Satanist. Do you hear me? You are a Satanist. I know you started out in witchcraft, and I know that with your testimony, and Pamela Martin, she she put me on her hit list. That was your friend. She's still there in Texas. And I haven't forgotten you, Pamela Martin. I haven't forgotten what you did. But I haven't forgotten Andrew Strom said there was no such thing as a pure word of God, that it all had to be flesh. And he put me down for it in 1995. And I haven't forgotten Pamela Martin on that telephone that you told me that you feared Andrew Strom because he had powers and you said that they were satanic powers guess what Andrew Strom guess what Craig Martin I haven't forgotten you I haven't forgotten any of you and um, I just want this. Now he attacks me. Yeshua hasn't forgotten you. Yeshua, on Yom Kippur, hasn't forgotten you. Yahweh wants this on record. He hasn't forgotten you. You who call yourself Malcolm Heap, you heap of dung. You who write a book about Elijah and now claim you're Elijah. You who go and put these websites up and slander and defile me. You so-called Christian counselor named Stephen Rossi Sr. You who I once called brother and mentored you who prophecy 111 was for as a blessing and you spit out as a curse because you don't want to get a divorce because it costs too much money you are no Christian counselor you are Satan in disguise you are a Judas and I decree it before the world and not only that I don't decree it but man you're in trouble because I'm young kid boy I didn't know any of this was going to happen I just started praying in holy tongues Yahweh wants you to put you on notice you know the fate of Judas Judas guess what Stephen, Steve Rossi Sr. 
That is your fate. I'm putting the enemies on notice. I'm putting Zeph Daniels on notice. Yahweh remembers you. He remembers you on this day of Yom Kippur because you are part of all of it. And I know there's so many others. People, I need your help. Holy ones, if this ministry has blessed you in any way, prove it. Prove it because you are going to have to prove it before Yahweh one day. What did you do to lift any of the burdens off of us? What did you do in any way, shape, or form to help us? Did you help us? Did you hinder us? Did you encourage us? I mean, nice words are nice, and we appreciate the encouraging words, but we need help. We must have help. The job is so big. We're reaching so many nations now. We're trying to warn about Sherry Shiner. We're trying to warn about Linda Newkirk. Linda Newkirk, we just had somebody just write us and tell us. She's holding people in hostage. She's over there demonstrating her demonic, satanic powers. How in the world can you people buy any books from Linda Newkirk? How in the world can you rationalize anything she says with the Bible? Giving birth to the man-child, being I'm pregnant 17 months. Oh my gosh, people. What's the matter with you? This woman is dangerous. She is Satan in disguise. And, I, and Sherry Shiner, oh my gosh, you're out there and you're, you're burying Oregon. Oregon, that is a tracking, tracking her special Oregon that's supposed to keep the, U, the aliens away. That's supposed to keep the demons away. That's supposed to be destroying the spaceships in the sky. Are you really that stupid? I'm sorry, but Abba Yahweh is angry. You call yourself by the name of Christian, and there's no Christian in you. You depend on a on a, a woman to sell you the Oregon to plant in your yard, to plant all over the world. Do you not understand? Did you not read the holy prophecies? You have attracted sickness to you. You have attracted demons to you by doing this. You have you have attracted the aliens. Don't worry when the UFOs come. They will be. You, they will know where you're at. Um, you are going to be held accountable for everything you've done to say that anything can can stand against a demon other than the name and the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach. You are truly, 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 truly blind, and your ears are truly, truly deaf, or you are under spirit of mind control, mind manipulation, which you are if you're following Sherry Shriner or Linda Newkirk. This we are going to post the letters that have been coming in warning about Linda Newkirk. This woman is dangerous, dangerous. She has people coming to her property, telling them to come. She's going to keep them safe. She locks them in a shed. She calls a, a, a place to sleep. And then she makes sure the padlock is on the outside so she can lock you in. I'm telling you, people, you're, you are going to be held accountable. I mean, why is this the prophet, the one that has to raise up and warn people on these diabolical enemies? Why do I have to be the one? And their list is so very long. Rick Joyner in the, in the Manifested Sons of God movement. You do not even begin to comprehend the fact of why his name is Morning Star Publishing. His name in himself, who was the Morning Star that fell from the sky? Does anybody understand that that was Lucifer? Do you not understand what the Manifested Sons of God movement is all about? They are decreeing that they are God for crying out loud. Wake up, people. Wake up. I am like a prophet of old, and I am fed up. I am fed up with the stupidity. I am fed up with the deaf ears. I am fed up with the blind eyes. Let the scales fall off your eyes and see what is going on. And that's what I have to say on this young Kabor. I know that Yah has got a message. It started coming forth. I started speaking in holy tongues, but this is a day of judgment also. This is it. Some of these are things that all of these things that I have named, not some, everything that I that has been put upon my heart. Yahweh is angry. He is angry. Where are the other translators that have been called called to be part of this ministry? Why are you not volunteering your time? We get these emails and saying, oh, I, I have been called to be your translator, but it will cost this, you this much money. What? 
We don't charge anything for putting the prophecies up in there in English. Why then, if you who believe that this ministry is speaking forth the truth, why then would you say, I would have to pay you this much money? Our translators work hard. They hold down full-time jobs, and yet... They devote so much time to taking the holy prophecies, to taking the, the messages off of this, this ministry, and they put it in all these different languages. I cannot even tell you how much they suffer to do this, how much time they spend doing it, how much sleep they lose. I cannot even begin, but their rewards will follow them to heaven. They will meet the souls as we will meet the souls, and they will all be thanked personally as they stand by our side. We know when we leave this earth, we will leave with the greatest reward of all, that we led souls to Yahushua HaMashiach, that we preached holiness. So that's what I have to say on this Yom Kippur. Now I'm going to see what else Yahweh has me to say, because all of this, all of this is on Yah's heart right now. All of this. Yahushua is returning. The great tribulation is almost upon us. And woe be unto you over there at Jim Bramlett's site on the five dub. Jim Bramlett, you're in big trouble. You are in so much trouble. You are going to stand before Yahweh. And you are going to be held accountable for every time somebody was all excited and this is the day Yahushua was coming. This is the day of the rapture. And every one of you on the five dub. For him, who has taken, who has also done this along with Jim Bramlett. Every one of you who said, "This is it. This is the day." Uh, that pastor, what's that pastor's name, honey? F.M. Riley. Oh, F.M. Riley. <laughs> you Baptist, you, you really are going to stand before Yahweh in a big, big way. You who teach people that they can sin and, and it doesn't matter what they're doing or it don't matter if they're in the act of adultery. It don't matter what you're doing, as long. As long as when you, as long as you know this, you see, you, you, this is your gospel, not the Bible gospel. F. M. Riley, you are going to stand before an angry Yahweh. You will find out. You will find out for what you have done. You have taught the people they can sin, and yet they will still be raptured and go to heaven. It's okay, just as long as you say that salvation prayer. Don't worry. Be happy when the rapture comes. You're not going to be in the great tribulation. And F.M. Riley, I have watched you on Five Doves give date after date after date. Marilyn Aggie, I know who you are. I started out with you in 1995. You have done the very same thing. This is the year of the rapture. This is the month. This is the Rosh Hashanah. This is the day of Pentecost. I don't know. All you at Five Doves have got so many different dates. And the people are devastated each time that they 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 really believe it some will even get saved because they're afraid of getting left behind and so they'll rush to their knees and fall on their knees and say I don't want to be left behind um, FM Riley said this is the day Jim Bramlett said this is the day Marilyn Agee said this is the day guess what all of you are going to be held accountable because these precious souls when that happens and they go and they fall on their knees and they repent before Yahushua and they give their life to him. And then the day passes. No rapture. Why in the world would they believe Yahushua for anything else and he forgave them of their sins or anything else when you lied to him and promised him a rapture? You promised him that certain date. And five doves, I'm woe beyond to you on this day. <laughs> Yahweh saying everybody who's taking part in the five doves I, I'm going to name some names Donna Catherine I don't know why but Yah's naming your name you used to be part of this ministry you used to, to give me words of encouragement now you sit at five doves and you believe the lies now you take part of the, uh, in the lies and you are going to be held accountable I don't know why Yah is putting these certain people on me right now. I don't understand, but you're going to hear the message. Everyone, everyone, five doves, beware of five doves. They're, they build you up for a big letdown, and they're all going to be held accountable. Yahweh is not taking this lightly. He does not take it lightly when you stand out and you say, this is the day. This ministry does not do that. I have been told, I, I have, I have... I have 
positively, and I stand before Yahweh right now, angels, holy angels came to me and told me that they would return and tell me the date. I, it is not anything of my flesh. I have seen them. I have touched their wings. I, my testimony is down there. I know that he has called me his ring maiden. I know that I know that I know. You can mock me all you want, enemies. It is not a name that I made up for myself. That's so stupid. <laughs> but I know that I know there has to be a crier that cries out, Behold, the bridegroom doth come. And I know that I know that I know that what Yahushua has spoken to me shall come to pass and the holy angels will return and I am not going by anything other than what Yah has said. Yahushua is returning on Rosh Hashanah. It shall be on a Sabbath. And praise Yahushua. We don't have to go by the sun calendar. Otherwise that's 2020. We've been told to go by the moon calendar the way that Yah originally set it up. So all these things are on Yah's heart on this Yom Kippur. I know I was going to have a Yom Kippur message. I didn't know any of this. I was just crying out and saying I didn't have to be a prophet. It's a frightening thing. And the next thing I know, I'm praying in holy tongues. And now I'm going to see what else Abba Yah has to say. Just this. Woe beyond the enemies. Woe, 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 woe beyond the enemies of Abba Yahweh. Even if you call yourself a Christian, <laughs> if you don't really have a relationship, a loving, obedient relationship with Yahushua HaMashiach, and I'll tell you this, anyone who's throwing stones, anyone who's slandering and lying on this ministry right now, Anyone, anyone, anyone who is doing these things and not defending this ministry when you see this come in the past and not supporting this ministry and not encouraging us. I know this, that Abba Yah says, whew, you're going to be held accountable. You will be held accountable. As many times as you have ignored our pleas for help, as many times as you have felt the tugging of the real Kakadesh upon you saying you should really support that ministry, even though you don't have much, you should really do something to help that ministry. Those who are to be the translators, as many times as you had heard, you know you know the language well enough, you could handle this. You are called to do this, but you still silence the voices. That's how many times Yahweh and Yahushua says that they will close their ears when you pray. As many times as you have withheld your hand to help us, as how many times Yahweh will withheld his hand to help you. And you will be in the great tribulation. I mean, I would rather suffer now, and the true bride of Yahushua HaMashiach does suffer now. We are persecuted. But in the Great Tribulation, you have no concept. You have no idea of the suffering you got waiting for you. You have none. And you can play your little church games. You can say, oh, but I have to be part of a fellowship and I have to go to a Sunday church. Even if they're not feeding me any spiritual meat. Even if I keep hearing the same milk message. Even if they won't preach against sin. I have to go to this Sunday church, you see, because otherwise I won't have a relationship with God. I have to defend I have to depend on other people to make sure that I go to church so they can see that I'm going to church. You see it's all a big church game, isn't it? You're all a pew warmer, aren't you? You who think that you have to have somebody else to keep you holy. You have to have a church. You have to have a pastor um, to make sure that you stay holy. You're in trouble. You don't even have a relationship with Yahushua then. You're in big trouble. What are you going to do in the Great Tribulation <laughs> when only the government church is going to be there? Only, only, only those uh, who's worshiping the beast. They're the only ones that's going to have a church on the corner. You can't live now without a church. You can't walk alone now with Yahushua. You're in big trouble. And how many letters we get that says, oh, I have to have a fellowship. And even when you're warned, you will still go out looking for another church. And Messianic Jewish temples, i got to warn the people. I told my husband this. We have a burden upon us, a new burden upon us. And that is this. Yahushua was warned about the organized churches. But now, who are the churches of Babylon? You go to your pastor, and you who sit in the organized churches, 
and you have warned them and you have told them, look, this isn't really the Sabbath, but your pastor has patted you on the head and he has said, it's okay, any day will do. And they've taken that scripture that Paul has spoken and they've twisted it again and again. The word has come forth and said, Paul was speaking to the Jews when they said, let no man judge you on which day is the Sabbath. But again and again and again, you've, you, you've taken that lie. You believe that lie. You trusted that pastor. But now let's get to the Messianic Jews. You've taken out the name Yah and the name Yahshua. You put the name Yes there. What is a Yes? The Father's name isn't Yes. But the Father of Yahweh's name is supposed to be included in His only begotten Son. And it's called Y-A-H. Yah. How many Messianic Jewish temples are following the Orthodox ritual, man-made traditions? How many are, are just totally, totally getting so far into the Orthodox, Orthodox Jewish ways, the legalistic ways, that they are forgetting to tell the people, like on Yom Kippur right now, we have atonement for our sins. We do not have to grieve this day. We can be comforted and know Yahushua is our Mashiach. He is a perfect blood atonement. He is the only holy blood atonement that was made for our sins. We are forgiven. Those of us who truly, truly believe we are blood washed with his shed blood, those of us who live our lives each day to please him, we have a comfort today. We do not have to beat our chest and say, oh, whoa, whoa, me, uh, 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 I am a sinner. No. Each and every time that we do anything to offend our Abba Yahweh, each and every time we quickly say, oh, Yahushua, please forgive us. We do not premeditate sin. We do not purposely sin. When you purposely sin, you're in trouble. You are mocking the blood of Yahushua. And the Bible says, be ye holy as I am holy. So don't just go running to any Messianic Jewish temple. You better be careful. And, and uh, some of these so-called rabbis, they don't know better. They don't understand. They were taught their name was Yeshua. Like I was first taught the name was Yeshua. I didn't know better. So you tell them in a nice way. And you say exactly. And if you want to hand them uh, one of the prophecies given to me, but don't be surprised if it isn't thrown back in your face. Because these so-called rabbis, they don't believe that a woman should be a leader. <laughs> Boy, have Nico and I ever found that out the hard way. But you know what? I call no man rabbi. I have but one rabbi, and his name is Yahushua HaMashiach. He is the highest of the high priests. He is the only one, the only one who deserves that title. So... We just warn you, we warn you, even when you go to a Messianic Jewish temple, do not expect, do not expect to find what you find in this ministry. And when you don't, make sure you go to that leader and make sure you warn them. Make sure you find out when they're just saying, God, 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 which God are they really serving? Nico and I found that out the hard way too, and our testimony on this is going to be posted. In Yah's timing like everything else. So this is what Yahweh has put on my heart this day on Yom Kippur. 2009. What's the date today, honey? September. Well, it's the night of the 29th. Okay, it's the night of the tw- 29th where we are in Europe. And it's the beginning of Yom Kippur of the evening. And now, Abba Yahweh, I just ask that you please give a message. You started speaking forth a message, and then you started me speaking in the way that I have. I do ask forgiveness if I have offended anyone. I have called some people stupid, but I believe that you put that word in my mouth because they are. They're acting with a spirit of stupidity to believe the lies, to not defend what they know is true.